G'day guys, it's Billy here from losttreasure.com.au Well I've been watching a few um, magnet fishing videos lately on YouTube and it's given me a bit of inspiration to make myself a uh, magnet go and do a bit of magnet fishing at an old well I know of and a few other places so today um, what I'm going to do is get these two magnets out of this magnetron from an old microwave oven um, and I'll show you the best way to retrieve the magnets, what I personally think anyway, using an angle grinder, just a really thin blade. YouTube video guys um, on YouTube what shows you how to take the magnets out of these magnetrons, basically using some pliers and bending these forward and this will lift back up, but this one's pretty hard to um, take apart. So what I'm going to do is use an angle grinder, a really thin blade, and just cut off these so basically sections. once I've cut cut it with the angle grinder with the thin blade um, it'll cut off this section here and I'll cut the other section there and this will just lift straight straight up and then I'll be able to take the guys we just before I start these magnetrons contain um, some pretty dangerous substances for example this section here underneath this steel section it's a ceramic piece um, from what I've um, seen on YouTube videos um, this stuff here contains a substance called beryllium. Um, if you breathe this in, you'll be stuffed. So basically, guys, beryllium is a very dangerous um, substance. Um, you've just got to be very, very careful of um, scratching this, creating a dust. Because um, if you breathe in beryllium, it will kill you. Um, of course, you, it'll give you... So if you breathe in beryllium... The dust of beryllium, um, it can give you lung cancer and other types of cancers, so just be very careful, there's no way I'll be risking touching this. So anyway guys, I'll get started and we'll cut this off and I'll take it apart and we'll get the magnets out. So first thing I'm going to do here is cut off these sections here, where the um, two bolts are attached to this to the microwave, so I'll cut this section off here, that'll make it a lot easier to get to these little sections here. So I'll do that now, and we'll take it apart. Alright guys, that's all done now, so this will just lift straight off, like that, and now I can get to the magnets. Alright guys, so what I just did then was pull, so what I just did then guys, as you can see I've just pulled this out like that, and then I'll get some pliers and slip this here. So that one's done. So this here is aluminum too, this section here, so if you want to scrap that you can, add that to your scrap bucket. So as you can see here, um, the magnet, there's a lot of these rocks what are stuck to it, there's a lot of iron in these rocks um, where I come from in this area, in the gravel. So that should just come straight off now. A little wiring what goes around the top of this magnet guys, so I've just got to remove that. So that, once I've taken that off, then the magnet will just slide straight off. What it should do. Yeah, here, what well, you've got to be very careful of. This contains the beryllium, this little ceramic piece here. So whatever you do, don't grind that, or don't um, smash it with a hammer, because it'll create a dust, and if you breathe that in, you'll be stuffed in 30 years time or whatever. Let's get this magnet off here.
Yup, there it goes. So as you can see guys, if I go like that, look at all of that. It's all iron gravel stuck to that bloody magnet now. Where I come from, this gravel is everywhere. It can be a pain obviously when you're touching, playing with magnets. Alright guys, so I've just taken the magnets out of um, two magnetrons. And this is going to be my... And this here is going to be my um, magnet fishing tool to go to the old well later on today. It looks pretty dodgy guys, I can't really afford to get one of those super powerful um, magnets. So this, is, this should do for the day. So this here should do for an experiment I'm going to do today. What I'm using is an old top of a, an old milk can. Um, so what I'll do now, I'm going to cover these magnets in the um, duct tape. Wrap it up in the duct tape. The string will go on top of here. And hopefully we'll get some luck. We might be able to pick up a bloody old rifle or something. We'll see if it works. See? Beautiful. So that's a pretty heavy um, steel picket there. But anyway, we'll give it a go guys and see how we go. I'm really looking forward to going out there today. Bit of excitement, something different. And like I say, I've had some great inspiration from just looking at YouTube videos on people magnet fishing for World War II relics and so forth. So I'll wrap this up now guys with the duct tape and then I'll show you once it's so wrapped up. done that guys, so as you can see, I've got the old test item, an old hubcap. Pick that up. Yep, beautiful. The old stainless steel picket. Yep, works good. Obviously, it's not as, not as strong as one of those um, proper magnets you can buy. But anyway, I reckon this should here. do the trick. It's a nice strong rope. And we'll head out there later and see if we can. Have some luck magnet fishing. Well, guys, I'm out at the spot now where the old well is. It's a bit dangerous and obviously you would not want to fall down this well. Um, last time I was out here with a friend, a couple of years ago, we actually tried to pump out the well, but we had no luck. It was just too deep. Um, so hopefully I've got enough rope here. I have got some spare stuff in the back of the car. So from memory, I think this well is over 100 feet deep. So it's going to be interesting to see if I've got enough rope here. Anyway, we'll give it a go and let's hope we find some interesting relics. I don't know what's going to be down the bottom, but I know for a fact there would be good stuff down there. Especially old bottles and so forth. But, yeah, you never know what we might pull out, guys. So, I'll set up this camera and we'll get started. Right, guys, wish me luck.